In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your GoDaddy domain to Infinity Free. This is a fairly simple process. I'm going to make sure you don't make any mistakes though in this video. So let's jump into it. So first, go ahead and register or log in to your Infinity Free account. So you can see I'm logged in here. Now what you need to do is you need to go to accounts and create account. And from here, you can go ahead and choose your hosting plan. For most of you, you probably are going to be using the free plan. So we're going to go with that. So go ahead and create now and what you can do you can click custom domain and it's going to tell you here what name servers you need to enter in your domain but let's just hang back a minute let's go ahead and find the domain on godaddy and we'll we'll make all of this happen so go to godaddy go to your profile go to my products and you need to just find some domains that you want to connect so we will use here searchablehowto.com now you want to go to the dns settings and inside the DNS settings, you want to change the name servers. So here we're on DNS records. If you've got any DNS records, which are like connected to another hosting platform, you do need to delete those because this is a new domain. I'm, I think I'm good on that record. So I'm going to go to name servers. And from here, what we need to do is we need to change the name servers to the custom ones from Infinity Free. So go change name servers. I'll use my own name servers and then enter in these two custom name servers. So ns1.infinityfree.com, copy the first one, paste it in. Do the exact same thing for the second one, paste it in, and then click save. So now you've updated your name servers, click continue and make sure that's gone through smooth. Okay, so that's gone through okay. We can now copy our domain, searchablehowto.com. And you just want to paste it into the domain name box, then check availability. That should tell you that's all good to go. You can then go ahead and give your account a label and you do want to create a custom password as well. After you've done that, give email consent and approve and then create your account. Now, what's going to happen from here is it might take a while now to set up your domain with your website. I'll give you some tips and show you what you need to do next, though. So open your control panel. It's going to then ask you to approve this. So just approve and then the control panel will open and then also click finish. Once you've done that, it will take you to this accounts section and you can just go ahead and access the control panel from here if you want to. But since we've already got it open, here it is. Now, if you wanted to install WordPress, you would just scroll all the way down to this app installer under software. Click on that and it should then allow you to install WordPress. Here's WordPress. You can then go ahead and obviously install it to your Infinity Free website. So that's pretty much all you need to do. You may get this notification saying that it can take up to 72 hours. Just be patient. Make sure your domain has been connected properly and you've entered the name servers correct. Apart from that, though, all you can do is just wait up to 72 hours. You can check if your domain's redirecting right away. You can see it isn't right now. So just wait and it will connect eventually. It just can take up to 72 hours. But if you followed along, everything should be good. Let me know if you've got any questions or comments in the comment section below.